Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy, para tulungan kayo sa mga problema ninyo sa math. At eto na yung second to the last video natin para sa inyong mga muzul. Hindi ko alam kung gagawin ko pa yung last video, nalulungkot ako. Kasi naman, patapos na talaga tayo. Anyway, masaya pa rin naman ako kasi nga, patapos na nga kayo. Pero sana mga anak ko, uh, matry nyo pa rin bisitahin ako at panoorin yung iba pang mga i-upload ko sa ating YouTube channel. Siyempre, bakasyon, di ba? Medyo magpapahinga tayo ng onte Pero siyempre, si Teacher Maria mag upload pa rin ng mga videos para hindi maging stagnant yung YouTube channel natin. At sana... Uh, once in a while, bisitahin, bisitahin nyo yung YouTube channel natin and then mag-click kayo ng videos, manood kayo at mag-comment kayo. Ha? Para naman i-recommend pa rin ni YouTube yung mga videos natin. Yun lang ang hiling ko. Sana supportahan nyo pa rin ako ha? kahit na bakasyon na. At syempre, magkikita-kita pa rin naman tayo sa inyong uh, grade ten journey at makakasama nyo pa rin ako. I-comment nyo nga kung, kung susuportahan nyo pa rin ako at patuloy pa rin kayong manonood ng mga videos natin. Sige, comment yan sa comment section natin ha. Okay, at bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit mo na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Hala, mamimiss ko yung spill ko, mga anak ko. Mamimiss nyo din kaya ako. Okay, for this one, we have... A triangular parcel of land that will be used as a garden with points A, B, C was to be fenced as a project of MGNHS, Maria Gracia National High School Math Club. No data for the lengths of sides A, B, and A, C are available as shown in the figure. Now, how much fencing materials are to be used in the lot. Okay, so, wala daw tayong measurements for the distance between A and B. Ito yan, question mark. And A to C, yung distance nila. Ang meron lang tayo ay B to C. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, kung wala dito, ibig sabihin, nawawala yung side, side B natin at nawawala yung side C natin. Kasi, ang given lang ay side A. Okay? So, let's try to find out. Angle A is 35. Angle B ay wala. Angle C is 62. And then, we have side A, which is 6. Side B is wala. Side C, wala rin. Okay? So, ano ang gagawin natin para ma-solve ito? Kaya natin ma-solve yung angle B. Okay? What is angle B? I-add lang natin yung 35 and 162. Tapos i-minus natin sa 180. So, we have there 35 plus 62, 97. Okay? So, 180 minus 97, 83. Okay? So, 83 tayo doon kay angle B. 83. Uy, baka nakakalimutan ko lagyan ng degrees. Lagyan nyo na lang, ha? Okay. And then, hanapin na natin yung mga yan. So, gamitin natin ang sign. A law of signs. Okay. So, we have here sign A over A is equal to sign B over B. So, sign 35 over 6 is equal to sign... 83 over B. Okay? So, alam na alam nyo na to. Cross multiply lang natin, ha? B sin 35 is equal to 6 sin 83. Okay? Dahil bilang inahanap, divide lang natin siya by sin 35. So, cancel na to. So, B is equal to 6 a sin 83 over sin 35. Siyempre, calculator ang katapat niyan. Okay, so 6 sin 83 equals, oh sorry, 
divided by sine 35. So, you will have 10.38, ha? Okay, so you will have here as 10.38 for B, okay? And then for uh, letter C naman, we have sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. So, sine 35 over 6 is equal to sine 62 over C. O, cross multiply, we have here now... C, C sine 35 is equal to 6 sine 62. Okay, divided by sine 35 to get C. Cancel, cancel. So, C is equal to 6 sine 62 over sine 35. Oh, let's see. Calculator na ulit natin yan. So, we have 6 sine 62. Okay, equals... That one divided by sine 35, you will have 9.24. Ha? Round off natin. 9.24. 9.24. Pero hindi lang naman yan ang tanong. Ang tanong ay ilang, how much fencing materials are to be used in a lot? So, kailangan natin kunin yung perimeter. And to get the perimeter of a triangle, you just have to have A plus B plus C. Ano ang A natin? Ang A natin ay 6. Okay, 6 plus B which is 10.38 plus 9.24. Add natin. So, you will have here... Oh, sorry. So, we have 6 plus 10 point, ay, sorry. 6 plus 10.38, okay, plus 9.24. And that will be 25.62. 25.62. Therefore, they need... 25.62 fencing materials for the lot. Anong unit natin? Tignan nga natin. Ah, meters. O, lagyan nyo ng mga meters lahat yan. Meters, 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 and then meters. Oh, that's for number one. Let's go to number two. At a Sampaloc Lake, a boatman sights a boy at an angle of 38 degrees. So, kung nandito yung uh, boat, nakita niya 38 degrees ito. Okay, now, he continues the same course for a distance of 140. Oh, travel na siya ng 140 meters and then sights the same boys, boy at an angle of 50 degrees. So, dito naman niya, 50 degrees. To the nearest meter, how far is the boat from the boy at the second sighting? So, eto ang hinahanap natin. Ano daw yan? Okay? If we are going to draw that separately, anong itsura niyan? O, dito na lang. Eto, tas diretso dito, ba? And then, yan. Okay, so ang measurement nito ay 140. Ito yan. And then this one is 38. Okay, and tandaan natin yung 50 degrees na ito ay dito. Dahil itong triangle yung kinukuha natin, dapat kunin natin anong measurement nito. Dahil ito ay linear pair or supplementary sila, ibig sabihin 180 minus 50. So, kung ano man yung measurement nyo dito, i-minus nyo sa so 180 para makuha nyo kung anong angle talaga nito. At ang angle na to, pag minus ko yung 50 is 130 degrees. Okay? Naintindihan ba? Okay. Now, kung ito ang A ko, at ito ang B ko, at ito ang C ko, let's identify the given, ha? So, angle A is 38. 
Angle B is 130. Ha? Baka nagtaka kayo, bakit 132 eh 50 yung given? Yung 50 kasi, dun yun para dito sa triangle na to. Ito, sa malaking triangle. Yun yung 50. Ang, ka, sorry, ang kailangan natin kunin, itong oblique. Ha? So, 180 minus yung given, kaya ako nakuha yung 130. Okay? And then, angle C. O, makukuha natin yung angle C by adding this one. Diba? 130 plus 38 is 168. Tama ba? Tama. 168. Tapos 180 minus 168. Tignan natin nga. 180 minus 168. So, you have 12. Ibig sabihin, itong angle C, 12 siya. Okay. Now, let's go to the side. A, B, C. Aha. Ang A natin, yun yung nawawala. Kasi ito yung ka-opposite niya. Ayan. Ang B natin, wala rin given dyan. Pero ang C natin ay 140 degrees. Okay? So, kompleto yung C natin at kukunin natin yung A. O, tama naman tayo, di ba? A and then C dito, tas eto. Ayan. So, given tayo ngayon ng angle-angle side. Okay? So, let's solve. Okay, we have here sine A over A equals to sine C over C. So, sine 38 over A, hindi natin alam. And then, sine... Uh, 12 over 140. Okay? Kasha ba? O, cross multiply natin. You'll have 140 sine uh, sine ano to? 38. Okay? Equals to A sine 12. And then, dahil A lang yung hinahanap, divide natin siya by sine 12. Okay, ano ngayon yung A? A is equal to, let's find out. Okay, so we have 140 sine 38. Okay, equals divided by sine 12. That is 414.56. So, if you have this one, you will have 414. Sorry. 414.56. Okay. So, yan ngayon ang distance. O, oh, meters din to, ha? So, ano yung conclusion natin? Therefore, uh, the distance of the boat from the boy ba yan? <laughs> boy. <laughs> At the second sighting is 414.56 meters. Okay? So, ganun lang yan. Okay? For number 3, if a hiker travels at an average speed of 3.5 miles per hour, how long will it take him to travel from the cave to the waterfall? So, round off to the nearest tenth of an hour. So, i-round off natin sila, okay? So, ito yung triangle natin. Suppose this is A, okay? This is B, and this is C. Okay, ano ang nawawala natin? Ha? So, if this is uh, A, ito yung nawawala natin, side A. Okay, this is B, so this will be side B, and this is side C. If we're going to have it, angle A is equal to 87.7, side A is missing, side B is a 5, side C is 6. Okay, so ang hinahanap natin ay side A. Uh, anong formula gagamitin natin? Dahil given tayo ng side angle side, cosine ang gagamitin ha. Okay, so we have um, A squared, dahil siya yung kinukuha natin yung A, is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. 
Okay, so B is a 5. 5 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times a 5 times 6 times cosine 87.7. Okay, so 5 squared is 25 plus 36 minus 60 uh, cosine 87.7. Oh, what is 60 times cosine 87.7? We have 60 times cosine 87.7. We have 2.41. So, uh, this one is negative 2.41 or minus. 25 plus 36 is 61. Ha? So, 61 minus 2.41 is 58.59. Dahil yan ay a squared, kailangan no, kunin natin yung square root. So, you will have a is equal to... Let's have this one. Square root ng 58.59. That is 7.65. Okay? So, you will have your 7.65. Pero hindi naman ito ang tinatanong. Ang tinatanong ay round of how long. Ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap natin ay time. Pero binigyan tayo ng dito na distance... Ang distance daw ay equals kay rate times time. So, to find for time, we have to divide this by R para makancel ito. So, time is equal to distance over rate. Ang nasolve kasi natin ay distance. So, kung ang distance natin ay 7.65, kailangan i-divide yan ng rate natin which is 3.5. Okay? So, 3.5. So, let's see. 7.65 7.65 divided by 3.5 So, you will have 2 point nearest tenth, diba? So, yung katabi ng 1 ay 8. So, 2.2 Okay? So, 2.2 hours. So, therefore, it will take The hiker, 2.2 hours to reach the waterfall from the cave. Ayan na, mga anak ko, natapos na natin ang assimilation part. Wait lang tayo sa assessment part, ha? Medyo mahaba yun kasi limang items yon. Pero bago natin gawin yon, siguraduhin na muna na mag-comment sa ating comment section para maapit ang video na ito at makita rin naman ng iba. Mga anak ko, mag-comment, ha? At sana panoorin nyo pa yung mga videos ko na i-upload pa. Okay, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!